Hi guys, welcome, welcome, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Mary and I give you guys an extra warm welcome. I would love it if you stayed for a while, grabbed a snack and click the subscribe button. I'm on the journey of reaching 1,000 subscribers and you can definitely help me in achieving that. And if you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back. I appreciate you guys more than you know. So as you know by the title of the video, I am doing three looks, one palette with the new Patrick Ta eyeshadow palette. So if you want to see the gorgeous eye looks that I create with this palette, then just keep on watching. All right guys, let's start this first look with the Patrick Ta Major Dimension palette. We are actually going to start off with a cream shade and we're going to use the darker of the two, this one right here. All right, I'm using a Sigma E57. And I'm first going to stamp this shade. Hopefully it comes out good. If not, then oh well. We'll uh, just oh well. All right, now I picked up a Sigma E45 and I'm going to try and blend this out. Hopefully it goes well. All right, there is that shade. It actually blended pretty easily and I didn't have to rush and blend it out, um, which was really nice. I did bring it on my lower lash line as well. Um, I think so far it's looking pretty good, but I am going to go in to a powder shade, one of the mattes. And I think I'm gonna go in for this one. It has a little bit of sparkle in there. I don't know if you can see it. I am going to use a fluffy brush and I'm going to use this on the edge of the shape I have going on here. I'm using an E38, which is like a crease brush. Hopefully this works. Kind of just blending out the edges of this eye look. It doesn't have to be perfect. That's not what I'm going for. I just kind of want a blended look. This is definitely a more on the simple side eye look. That is definitely what I was trying to go for. And um, I don't mind if it goes all the way up to like my temple. This is definitely like a bold cat eye kind of look. Blending beautifully onto that cream shade. This is what we have now. The only thing I'm going to do is dig into one of the shimmer toppers. Um, I think I'm going to go in with this little peachy one right here. And I'm going to use my finger. And I'm going to put this basically on just the lid. Nothing else underneath that. I don't feel it needs it. It's a pretty simple look. And I don't mind if like the shade of my skin tone is on there. I don't mind it at all. If you need to darken up the corner just a tiny bit more, all you need to do is go back in to that cream shade. It does blend pretty well on top of powders. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go back in to the E45 and dip in just a tiny bit um, just so I can make that corner pop again all right guys here is the first eye look and i did use in the inner corner and my brow bone this shade right here i think it's called define and this is what it looks like with mascara lashes um i totally thought i was only going to create one eye look so i only brought one eyeliner and it's like a little champagne golden color moment but 
this look is simple but still pretty beautiful and bold um, the eyelashes I have on are definitely a little longer than I wished but um, I still think it works pretty well if you ever feel like you went too far like you're not liking the way this looks just take the foundation brush that you use and kind of just blend it out and make it look more airbrushed um i definitely did that as you can tell it's not like all the way up there um, it just kind of made everything just blend and smooth out and just look cohesive let me know what you think let's move on to look number two all right guys so let's start with look number two i am going to dig into this shade right here and i'm going to use that as my transition shade i definitely think this eye look is going to be a little more dark and a little more smoky um i am using a soft blend 2o by sigma it's a very fluffy brush this is going to be my transition shade and i did dip into it pretty lightly i don't want to get too dark too fast i definitely want to build it up to the shade that i want it to um i think this is going to be a halo eye and uh let's just see where this goes you know you guys already know i love my halo eyes i feel like they complement my eyes the best i don't know what do you guys think let me know what shape of eyeshadow you prefer on my eyes all right now we're going to dig into this shade right here i'm using a sigma e42 it's a very precise brush and we're going to use this to build up the inner and outer corner i haven't used this shade yet so i'm excited to see what it can do okay this is what we've got i kind of want to build that inner and outer corner up a tiny bit more so i am going to go in to the darkest matte brown i'm going in with the same sigma brush i just went ahead and cleaned it with my color switch and i'm really focusing this shade right in the corner i definitely feel like this dark brown matte is darker than the dark cream shade i feel like the darkest cream shade loses a little bit of its color once you blend it out okay just like that okay this is what we have so far um i think i am going to go into the darkest shimmer shade and that's this one and i'm actually going to use my fingers this time um i feel like the last time i used that shade i had way too much fallout <laughs> it's a beautiful color and I am going to go over it with some of that glitter topper shade. Um, but I did want this look to be pretty smoky. I'm sure I mentioned this in my other videos, but I typically go back to my other brushes and just kind of blend the previous colors. Sometimes you lose a little bit of that color and when you pick up the brush that you used before, it just helps in bringing that color out just a tiny bit more. So I'll probably be going back in to clean up the corners. Okay, so now I'm just gonna pick up the brush that I just used and all I'm gonna do is clean up the edges of that shimmer shadow kind of just bring that dark shadow back a little bit just so it looks more blended and not like it just popped it on there you know and i did bring a little bit of that like warm terracotta brown the second shade i used down here to kind of blend out that dark brown that i used 
All right, now what I'm going to do is pick up one of the shimmer toppers and I'm going to go with this one today. Use my finger as well. And I'm going to put this right on top of that shimmer shadow just to make it more bam in your face, you know? All right guys, and this is look number two. It's a pretty smoky eye look. I'm a little sad that I only have this one eyeliner, which is like a champagne gold color. Um, I definitely feel like this eye look would have been more bam out there if I had like a very beautiful warm brown eyeliner, but I didn't bring it. <laughs> I honestly only thought I was going to do one look and I ended up creating two. Um, I did go in with this shade as the inner corner and the brow highlight. All right, well, here is the second eye look. Let me know what you think. Okay, why don't we go ahead and move on to the third and final look. Okay guys, I think we are going to go extra smoky today. So we are going to dip into the lightest cream of the two. And this is the third eye look. I am going into a Sigma E57. It's like a packer brush. I don't know if this is meant to be like your primer, but I have to try. I have to prime, so I did prime my lids before starting, just because, yeah, I'm a creature of habit. All right, now I'm going to grab like a fluffy, almost flat brush. This is the Laura Lee Los Angeles L18, and I'm pretty much just going to blend this color out hopefully this works in having all the shades just adhere to my lid okay this is what we have so far that color is beautiful i did also bring it on the lower lash line um and we're gonna start bold right off the bat <laughs> So we're going to dip into the darkest matte brown in the palette and let's try a E38 Sigma brush. Hopefully it goes okay. And I'm actually going to start first by just tapping it and then um, I'm going to start first by tapping it and then I'll start blending since that cream base stays a tiny bit tacky. I don't want any patchiness, you know? Once I feel like I have the amount of brown that I want down, I'm just going to start blending. I am focusing it mainly on the lid. I am really testing these cream shadows out today. Let's see how this goes. Okay, this is what we have so far. Um, I think it looks pretty good. I have very oily eyelids and it sucks that I can't test this eye look out for the rest of the day to see if it holds up because I typically don't like to wear all matte eye look on my eyes because they crease. Doesn't matter if I wear primer, doesn't matter if I set, doesn't matter if I do liner first and then put the shadow on top of like the sticky base, they still somehow end up creasing. So yeah. Now we're going to go into this shade right here and we're going to add that on the edge, just kind of blend it out. I'm using an E40. I dipped into it pretty softly because I want to build it up slowly. I don't want to start off too dark too fast. I'm getting like glitter particles all over even though the matte shades I'm using aren't glittery. So I wonder if it's like residue from the other shades, but it's a little annoying. So far, 
it seems to be blending pretty well. Right, as you can see, things are looking pretty smoky. <laughs> All right, now we're going to go in with the last shade. And I think I'm going to go in with the lightest one. I think it's transition. And I'm going to use a very fluffy brush. This is Soft Blend 20 by Sigma. It's like a very fluffy, long brush. I'm mostly using the shade to kind of just blend everything and make it almost look airbrushed. You can definitely do this with um, like a translucent powder or if one of the matte shades looks like a tone that's close to like your skin tone, then that would work as well. I haven't really put anything else on the lower lash line um, and I will, just not yet. Okay, but can you see the difference between this eye and this eye? Beautiful, right? All right, guys, and this is what we have. Um, I did put a tiny bit of the very dark matte brown on my lower lash line. I only brought it down up to the middle of my eye. And I also went ahead and used that transition shade and kind of just blended everything out on the bottom so that it also looks airbrushed. Uh, tip from last time, like I said, if you don't like the way it's looking like up there, just pick up your foundation brush and kind of just blend it out and it'll just make it look not as bam in your face, you know? Okay, um, I think I want to add just a tiny bit of shimmer. I was going to leave it like this, but I think I need a little bit of shimmer and I am going to go into the darker shimmer, which is this one right here. But I'm going to go in very lightly. I don't want it to be too heavy. Like literally barely dipping my finger in there and it's going to go all over the lid. But I'm going to keep it mostly on the lid. I'm not going to bring it up too, too much. Like that. See how it's like super subtle? All right, guys, let me go ahead and put on some lashes and finish off the rest of my face and I'll be back. All right, guys, and this is what the third eye look looks like. What do you think? Super smoky. I did put on some brown eyeliner and these are the style Angela by Bright Lashes. Um, Angela Bright, if you don't know who she is, she is a YouTuber here on YouTube. <laughs> my eyebrows are getting on my eyebrows right now. So go ahead and ignore them right now. But let me know what you think. Here is the third and final look. Well, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed the three eye looks that I did create for you guys <clears throat> with the new Patrick Ta eyeshadow palette, Major Dimension. Um, I do really enjoy this palette. I feel the color scheme is beautiful. Um, I hope it works for everyone. I don't know if anyone of the darker complexion can use these shades. Um, if you are, you know, darker than I am, um, like five times darker. Let me know if you purchased this eyeshadow palette and if you can actually use every shade in the palette. I'm very interested to know. Me, myself, personally, I really am enjoying the new Patrick Ta eyeshadow palette. It is a great everyday eyeshadow palette. So far, I have had such fun creating the eye looks that I did. I know it's hard to think about different eye looks when it comes to a neutral palette, but the possibilities really are endless. I would love it if you would tell me down below which is your favorite eye look. I think for sure this one looks number three is my favorite eye look so why don't you let me know down below which one is your favorite okay guys well i would love it if you gave this video a big thumbs up 
it would really help me out in the algorithm and hopefully bringing some new and fresh eyes to my channel and if you haven't done so already i would love it if you joined my small youtube family by clicking the subscribe button i would love to have you i am on the journey in hopefully completing this goal before the end of 2021 of 1000 subscribers um it would really just make the year so much better. I'm already at 350, so hopefully we can hit 500 soon. And as soon as I do, I will definitely be doing a 500 subscribers giveaway. Okay, guys, I will see you on the next video. Bye.